All right. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to my Linux video tutorial series. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scheduled backup of your content to a remote storage server. And uh, in this case, I'm going to use a NFS server. And uh, I already have set up the server. Um, this machine is uh, my server and uh, the left machine is my client machine so in the right machine into the server i have created the nfs server if you don't know how to create a nfs server then uh, i'll refer to the previous video of mine so go back and uh, watch that it's so easy so let's get started so in my server i can check my NFS server is it working properly or not so to do that type a command export FS and hit enter here we can see that uh, it's sharing is NFS storage directory to the 192.168.100 uh, subnet which is fine and uh, now let's get back to the client machine and here I already have uh, attached uh, it to the NFS server and um, I have mounted the server in slash MNT um, directory. So you can check it uh, show mount minus E and the server IP address, which is 87 in my case. So uh, yeah. Uh, it can detect the uh, NFS directory and also you can uh, check in the FS tab entry yeah you see that uh, I already have uh, uh, entry the um, NFS storage and mounted it in an uh, slash MNT directory so if you just go to the directory cd slash mnt you are actually accessing the nfs storage uh, from uh, the server machine so i can to ls there is a file i can create another file like uh, test and uh, you can check it from here from the server Slidy cd slash nfs underscore storage ls yeah you get the file here so it's accessing and uh, the whole system is working properly now um, you wanted to um, copy some file from uh, from a uh, source directory to the destination directory in this case uh, your destination directory is the slash mnt which is actually the NFS storage in the server side. So you need a source directory. So let's create a source directory. Let's call it slash SRC. So let's uh, move to this directory and touch file one. Okay. So we have created a file in um, our source directory and we want to sh uh, run a schedule uh, to copy f uh, this uh, the files inside the source directory to the NFS storage uh, and in, in, the, in the client side that is uh, slash mnt directory. So to do that we can um, use our sync, um, sorry rsync command to copy the file from uh, one directory to another directory which is very efficient and uh, which is very effective for this type of task so rsync and you need to put here your source directory and you want all the files from the source directory so slash um, asterisk then the destination directory which is slash mnt so 
the command is not found that means my rsync is not installed in the system so we can install it yum install rsync minus y The installation is complete. So now we can run again. Yeah, the command successfully done. And uh, let's check in the slash mnt ls. You see the file one is here. That means the rsync is um, actually copying your file from the source to the mnt directory so uh, we wanted to run it uh, in a scheduled way like uh, if you want to run this command every sunday which is the weekend at um, at midnight you can uh, run a cron tab or cron job uh, in this machine so it will uh, copy all the contents uh, of uh, from the source uh, directory to the mnt or in other case to the nfs storage or the nfs in the nfs server so um, we can create a cron job and uh, the best way to create a cron job is cron tab minus e so um, hit enter and uh, press i to insert and um, before that i want to show you the options of a cron job okay it's probably this one yeah okay here uh, we have um, uh, these options uh, is the minute the first uh, mm, yeah yeah minute and the, then the, the second option is the hour third option is the day of the month and the fourth is the month and uh, you can uh, put uh, one two three four uh, up to 12 or you can just write january february but we don't need this since we want to run it every month every day uh, in every month of the day so uh, the next option is day of the week uh, in this case we want to run it on sunday so sunday is equal to zero so we can write sun or otherwise uh, we can write zero so and uh, so our um, crown tab will be minute equal to zero hour equal to zero that means uh, it's in, in on uh, at the midnight and the day of the month is it would be every day of month and month would be every month and uh, the day of the week would be zero so let's write it okay press i so zero zero star star zero it's a sunday and now we have to type the command like um, our command would be rsync then pass the uh, arguments so our argument is source mm, star and the destination would be test oh no it's uh, our slash mnt yeah so write and quit you can check the cron tab yeah it's successful so it will now create a schedule uh, and copy all the files from your source to the uh, destination uh, directory so that you don't have to think uh, you don't have to uh, work manually so it's uh, it's just an automatic process now let's say you want to create uh, the cron cron job every day at midnight so in that case you can um, since it is every day, you just can put uh, another asterisk. So it's now every day at the midnight, uh, the copying will be done from source to the destination. 
prone to have my SL. Yeah. So that's the solution. And uh, I think it will be, um, yeah, it will be good for you, for your uh, project, I guess, is the solution. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and bye-bye. Uh,